everyone, it's Miss Vanessa, and I'm back today with this month's puppet play. Uh, for this month, I'm going to tell you a story using puppets, and the story today is The Mitten. And you may be familiar with the story of The Mitten from the very popular picture book by Jan Brett. Uh, that's one version of this story, and this version is mine that I learned from another librarian. And I've made a few changes to his version as well, so I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. Once upon a time, there was a little boy who went to go play in the snowy woods. And it was so cold, he had to dress up really nice and warm. He had to put on his jacket, his hat, his boots, and also his very special white mittens that his grandmother knitted for him. And so he was all bundled up and he had a good day playing in the snow. And he got a little hot from all that hard playing. So he decided to take his mittens off so he'd be able to roll up snow and make a snowman without getting too, his hands too sweaty. So when it was time to go home, however, he could only find one of his mittens and it was getting really dark, so he decided to take that mitten home, and he would come back the next morning and look for his other one. And so the mitten he left behind stayed all alone on the floor of the forest, on the snowy ground. And it laid there for a little while until somebody came along. And along came. Oh, brr, it is so cold out here. I wish I had a nice warm place to get warm for a little bit. Do you see that? That's a mitten. It's a little small, but I think I can make it work. Okay, on the count of three, I'm gonna hop into that mitten. Let me try. <clears throat> One, two, three. And so the little hedgehog squeezed into that mitten. And the mitten was a little small, but as the hedgehog burrowed into it, it stretched a little and got a little bit bigger. And so Hedgehog stayed nice and warm, curled up inside that, that mitten all by himself for a bit until somebody else came along. And along came <gasps> Who's that? Do you know who that is? That's right. Arr! Oh boy, is it cold out here. Ugh. I wish I had a nice warm place so I could thaw my ears out for a bit. <gasps> well, would you look at that? I think that mitten will work perfectly. It's just asking for me to hop right on into it. Okay, here I go. Two, three, stop! Oh, oh! I'm sorry, rabbit. You could not fit inside this mitten. But you did. Are you sure I can't just try? Well, okay, you can try. Thank you. Okay. Oh, boy. Well, a little company won't hurt. Let's try that again. Okay, on the count of three this time. One, two, three. And so Rabbit hopped inside that mitten, and he and Hedgehog managed to fit. But in order to fit, the mitten had to stretch a little bit. And it got just a little bit bigger. And so Hedgehog and Rabbit were nice and cozy inside that mitten for a little while until somebody else came along. And who could it be? <gasps> Do you know who that is? That's right. Oh, it is so 
cold out here. Oh, I need to just rest my feathers for a bit and get them nice and warm. <gasps> well, I think that mitten will just work perfectly. All right, on the count of three, I'm going to hop inside that mitten. <clears throat> All right, one, two, three, stop! Woo, 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 woo. I'm sorry, Al, I didn't mean to startle you, but you cannot fit inside this mitten. Oh, oh, are you sure? Can I just try? Mm, okay, you can try. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, dear, I didn't realize I'd have company. All right, let's try this again. On the count of three. One, two, three. An owl squeezed into that mitten. And with all three of them in there, she managed to make it in. But the mitten got a little bit bigger this time. And so who do we have in this mitten right now being cozy? We have hedgehog, rabbit, and owl. So all three of them stayed nice and warm together in this mitten that's stretching out just a little bit. Grandmom's stitches are holding up just perfectly. And so they stay that way for a little while until somebody else came along. And along came Do you know who that is? Yes, it's Bear. Oh, do dum dum dum. Oh man, is it cold out here? Oh, I need a nice warm place to curl up for a bit. Well, looky there. That's a pretty nice big. Uh. Oh darn, I forgot what that's called. Uh. Oh, is it a sock? No, it's not a sock. Uh, oh, <laughs> underwear. Oh, that's what it is. How could I forget? That's a nice big pair of underwear for me to curl up in for a bit. I think I'm just going to hop right in. Okay, here I go on the count of three. One, two, three. Stop! Oh, ow. You startled me. I am so sorry, Bear, but you can definitely not fit inside this mitten. Oh, it's a mitten. I knew that. <clears throat> Please, Al, it's so cold out here. Can I just try? Please. Oh, dear. What do you guys think? Should he try? Oh. All right, then, Bear. You can try. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thanks, everyone. Okay, here I go. One, two, three, and Bear squeezed and squeezed and squeezed into that mitten. And he managed to fit, although it's a tight squeeze. And with him in there, the mitten got a bit bigger. Oh man, so we have hedgehog, rabbit, owl, and now bear all curled up into this mitten. And they were nice and cozy. The stitches stretched a little but are still holding up. And they stayed that way for a little bit until somebody else came along. And along came Who's that? Can you guess? That's right, it's Mouse. Oh, Bear! It is so cold out here, and I am so small. I need just a warm place to curl up for a second and, and thaw my tail out. Well, looky there. Look at that gigantic mitten. Oh, that'll be more than enough room for me. All right, I'm going to hop in here on the count of three. One. 
two, three. Stop. Oh, oh, you scared me, Bear. I'm sorry, Mouse. There is no room for you inside this underwear. I, I mean, this mitten. Oh, that is Bear. I am so small, and the mitten is so big. Even with you in there and everyone else, surely I can fit. Okay, Mouse, you can try. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. On one condition. Anything. You cannot, under any circumstances, tickle my nose. Oh, Bear, I promise I will not tickle your nose. Okay, then, you can try to jump in. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, here we go, on the count of three. One. Two, three, and mouse fits inside of that mitten, no problem at all, fit just right, didn't even stretch the stitches, except mouse's long tail wiggled its side after her and tickled bear's nose. And you know what happens? When Bear's nose gets tickled, he sneezes. And so on the count of three, I need you guys to help me give a really big Bear sneeze. Can you guys help me? Okay, let's count together. One, two, three. Ah-choo! And the Bear sneeze blew everyone out of the mitten. And so they all scurried off back home, warm enough from their stay inside of the mitten. And so that big mitten lay there all empty again in the snow until the next morning when the little boy came back to look for his other mitten. And with it being a little bit bigger, he didn't have any trouble spotting it. But he was just a little bit confused as to how this got so much bigger. And that is the story of the mitten using puppets. I hope you guys enjoyed that story, and I hope you guys have a good month of December, and I will see you next month with another puppet play. And if you had a chance to pick up one of the kits, the kits will have some printables uh, so you can make your own mitten out of paper and your own woodland friends. So you can um, make your own stick figures and reenact your own version of the mitten. Uh, if you didn't have a chance to get a kit, we still have a couple that you can reserve if you give us a call or go to our website online and reserve one. Or if not, I will have a link to all the, the material that you need uh, in the, uh, the video description below. So if you didn't manage to get a kit, then you can get it on your own, hopefully, and make your own puppets. But until next time, you guys take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>